Hi guys, welcome to Sudani Food and Lifestyle channel. Guys, today I'm gonna to be making a simple steamed fish with vegetables, okay? And I'm gonna show you how I make my steamed fish and vegetable. Ironically, one of my favorite fish is red snapper, okay? And I'm making them whole, okay, with the head on and everything like that. These already washed in like lime juice and stuff like that. So I'm just gonna take them out of the water and place them on here. Okay, so I have three nicely um, fresh red snappers, okay? And I'm just gonna slice them at the side, okay? While I'm, when I'm seasoning them, I like to slice them, okay? And that way the seasoning gets inside of it nicely. So I'm just gonna give them like one slice here at the side, okay? Turn it over, just slice it in the opposite way, okay? Okay, and then I'm just gonna put some seasoning in there, okay? I'm gonna put some black pepper inside of it, okay? Put some black pepper in here, okay? Into the side and inside of the fish, okay? gonna do that and then I'm gonna put some fish seasoning in there okay let me see let me get this open it's a fish seasoning okay you don't really have to add any salt if you're using the fish seasoning because it's a little bit salty okay so you don't really have to use salt depending on your taste okay put some fish seasoning in there and then I'm gonna add a little lemon pepper to it okay a little bit and then I'm just gonna rub that in okay rub it in the side rub it in nicely okay okay and then I'm just gonna put this to the side because I'm gonna do my vegetable right now. So let me just wash my hands, okay? And I'm gonna saute the vegetables that I'll be using. So let me just put this over here to the side over there, okay? And these are my vegetables, which are nicely cut up. I have pumpkin. You could use pumpkin or you could use squash. I have tomatoes, okay? I have okra. I have carrots in here. I have, what do I have in here? I have, what is that, onions, okay? And I think I have green peppers and red peppers in here also. So it's like a nice little vegetable, fish vegetable stew, okay? So I'm just gonna saute that down right here. Let me make sure my pot is heated nicely. Okay, then I'm gonna throw some olive oil in it. I'm gonna cook with olive oil, but you could cook with whatever oil you like, okay? So I'm just gonna be throwing some extra virgin olive oil in there, okay? And I'm gonna saute my vegetables before I cook my fish down, okay? I'll just throw some olive oil in here. Yeah, that's enough. So saute my vegetables. Look, let that get hot a little bit before I throw everything in there. And this is a nice size pot to cook in because yeah, it's a lot of vegetables and the fish and stuff like that. So I'm just gonna saute this down, okay? And then I'm just gonna add my vegetables in there, okay? And saute them down a little bit. We're not trying to fry the vegetables, we're just sauteing the vegetables, okay? And I'm going to season my vegetable. Now it's in there, okay. I'm going to just put a little, let me get a spoon or a fork. Put a fork over here. And I'm going to put some garlic, minced garlic in there, okay. Put some garlic in there, okay. And put some more black pepper. Oh, that smells so good. And black pepper in there. Okay. 
And this looks so beautiful. It's so nice and colorful. Look at the green peppers, the red peppers, the okra, the pumpkin, you know, and the shallots. I have shallots in there and I have my regular onions in there and my carrots. Makes it beautiful, okay? Let me get a piece of thyme. I'm gonna put a piece of thyme in there. Excuse me a second, guys. Let me get my thyme over here. This is my thyme. I love to cook with thyme. I'm just, like this, I'm just gonna wash it a little bit. Okay, and then I'm gonna fill that in there, okay? Make it nice and flavorful. Oh, that smells so good. I wish you were here to smell that. Oh, it smell. Okay. So I'm just sauteing that a little bit together. And then I'm gonna add some water, okay, to it, and steam it a little bit, okay? So let me just add some water to it. Okay. I'm gonna add some water to it, I think. Okay, I'm gonna taste it and see what it tastes like here. So I'm going to add a little salt to it, okay? Give it that stuff. Just a little salt, okay? It smells so good. Okay. Let's see what that tastes like. Okay, that's enough salt, okay? So now, I'm just going to add my fish to it so it could steam all together, okay? I'm just going to add my fish to it, okay? That looks good. That's one fish. That's two fish. And that's three fish, okay? And then I'm just going to cover them nicely with the veggies and let them steam down. I'm going to add a little bit more water to it so they could marinate nicely. And I'm just going to add a little, let me see, I'm going to add a little water, more water to it. And I'm going to add some soy sauce to it, okay, to give it some color. Okay. You could also add tomato paste to it if you want, but I'm just going to add some soy sauce to it. Okay. Let me add some soy sauce to it, give it some color. Okay, that should be enough. Okay, put my soy sauce down. I'm just gonna cover it nicely and let it steam. Okay, and I'll be right back once it's finished steaming. So this is what it looks like before I cover it, okay? So you can see it. And um, yeah, so this is what it looks like here. I have my cover right here, so I'm just going to cover it. Yeah, one second, guys. Let me bring my light closer because it's a bit dark, so you can see it. Okay, so this is it over here. Hope you can see it, and I'm just gonna cover it and let it steam, and I'll be right back, okay? Okay, guys, here it is. It's cooking down, okay? It's looking good. Here it is, okay? So let me see if my carrots, I need my carrots to get soft, okay? So it's steaming down nicely, okay? Just keep putting water over it so they could steam nicely, 
Okay, guys. Yeah, basically, I'm cooking it for a good 20 minutes. 20, 25 minutes would be good, okay? To get all your vegetables and stuff like that nicely soft, softened, so they're not too tough, especially the carrots and stuff like that. The pumpkin and your squash, they'll cook faster, right? But the carrots, they take a little while before they're, so they're you know, nicely soft, before they get soft. So let me give it another 10 to 15 minutes, and I'll be right back, okay? Let's cover that. Okay, guys, so my steam red snapper is finished right here, as you can see. Okay, it's nicely cooked. And I'm going to dish it out now. Okay, and I'll show you what it looks like here. Okay, so I want it to break. I'm just going to pick that up nicely. That's not hard. I don't want it to break. I want to take it out. So, okay. This is ex extra soft, which is nice. I like that. Okay. Then I'm going to put some of the nice vegetables on it. Okay, look at that. It's nicely cooked. Okay, all that gravy. Okay. This is what it looks like. You could eat it like this. Okay. Put some more gravy on there. Get some more okra in there. It's my little okra. Okay, there it is. And then, for me personally, I'm going to eat it with some roasted red potatoes. Okay, so I have my roasted red potatoes over here. And I'm just going to put some right here. Okay. I need some carbohydrates to fill me up. And I think that's enough. And doesn't this look beautiful? Okay, guys. Um, so this is how I make my steam red snapper with my veggies. It's very healthy. Okay, I did. I only use olive oil. I didn't fry it or anything like that. And the potatoes are baked in olive oil. Okay, guys. So please like, share, and subscribe. Okay, tell your friends and your aunts and whoever to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. Okay, and happy red snapper, steam red snapper cooking. Okay, guys. Bye.